because of you do Praise it on that country But come on, let's have a good time But come on, let's have a good time I wonder could I say it again But come on, children Let's have a good time But all we gotta do is get you Gotta get Gina Listen to everybody We gotta get it with one God Jesus will be there You can count on love Thank Him because you do Praise Him and touch it oh, Come on, let's have a good time oh, Come on, let's have a good time Praise the Lord, everybody out there in Radio and TV land I'm still patting my feet. We, will, we are going to have a good time. This is Pastor George Crowd, Word of Faith International Ministry. Uh, you can write me, P.O. Box 55086, Long Beach, California, 90805. You can write me, uh, send me a letter, card, or what have you. It certainly would be appreciated. Uh, this program is going out to my brother down in Gulfport, Mississippi, Napoleon William and his family going out to them. He said, I will be listening and also going to my son up in Victorville, uh, Minister Kevin Pontell and his beautiful wife. Uh, I wish I could get him on the program with me, but unfortunately he work at night. Uh, he's a dynamic teacher. I tell you, that man know the word from A through Z, a dynamic teacher, my son, Kevin Pontell. And so we're going to move on. We're going to, <clears throat> we're going to talk about we, we've, we've had a good time starting off. So we're going to continue with this good time. Now, those of you, you can also call in and be live on the air. The number is 323-965-1600. Again, if you want to call and be on the air, uh, we're going to talk about we're over in Hosea. Uh, uh, my God, my God, God allowed things to happen to get your attention. That's what we're going to talk about. God allowed things to happen to get your attention. We see all the, cause all the tragedy things that is happening all over the world. And there's a reason for that. You know, when people get too complacent and get relaxed, so, uh, they, they, you know, and that's why he allowed things to happen to get your attention. If he speaks to you, God has the power to speak to the wind. And you know if the wind obey him, what about man? Praise be to God. And we're going to move on. We're talking about Hosea. With, uh, we're going to start at verse 1. The Lord gave this, I'm reading, or either teaching out of the, the New Translation Bible. It's maybe a little different from the regular NIV. He said, the Lord in the message of, sent the message of Hosea or Beerah during the years when Uzziah and Jonathan, Ahi and Hezekiah were kings of Judea, uh, Jeroboam, son of Jehosh, and king of Israel. Hosea's wife and children, watch this. I want you to really pay a close attention to this. Hosea's wife and children. When the Lord first began to speak to Israel about Hosea, he said to him, go and marry a prostitute. Watch out. What? Prostitute. And the NIV Bible, it was said hearted. And this is here, just break it right on down. So some of her children will be born to you from other men. This will illustrate the way people have been unto me, openly uh, committing adultery against the Lord by worshiping other gods. See, with God, he don't want you to have no other god before him. And we, we, we're talking about when God allowed things to happen to get your attention. Now, it's a reason why, I want you to listen at me very closely. It's a reason why that when we go all through, I'm going all the way down to this, all the way through here and explain to you each one what it means. Uh, we, 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 my God, my God, this is getting to good. And it's said, Hosea married Goma, the daughter of Adilabam and became pregnant and gave Hosea a son. And the Lord said, name the child uh, Jezreel, for I am about to punish King Judah. Daniston, the average murder he committed at Jezreel. 
In fact, I would put the end of Israel independent by breaking its military power in Jezreel Valley. Soon, Gomer became pregnant again, gave birth to another daughter. Watch this now. And the daughter said unto Hosea, Name your daughter Lomonash, the Lord not love, for I will no longer show love to my people of Israel. Forgive them, but I am the Lord God. Now I will show you love to my people. Now see, Israel has been a nation always was so disobedient unto God. And all the things that they went through with, and some people today are just like Israel. They're disobedient, they're hard-headed, selfish, not kind-hearted and true. And God wants you to be faithful. That's what he wants you to be faithful. And every time I think about the children of Israel, when Pharaoh, my God, my God, you know the story, when Pharaoh, you know, it, it just always singing, sinful, sinful, sinful. And the world is this, basically the same thing today, very sinful. And we look at one thing here. God allowed things to happen. I remember, I remember reading uh, when the, the disciple was out on the ship. He was out on the ship, and a wind came up. They said, go wake up, go wake up, we'll go wake up the master, go wake up the master. See, now, why are you going to wake up the master and he's there with you? See, that's what a, a people's faith. They have very little faith when, when they do that. And we begin to look at when God allowed things to happen. Well, when I look at uh, over in the, again, when I began to look at Genesis 39 and 1, what happened to Genesis 39 and 1, when I began to think about what happened to Jacob, Day, little, little, little David, all of those, when I think about what, what happened, now, we begin to, Genesis 39, 1. When I, I began to read that, uh, Joseph, I, I mean to say Joseph, Joseph, he, they always called him a dreamer. But see, when we begin to think about what happened to Joseph and Pharaoh's, see, they did him wrong. And when you do somebody wrong, you're going to have to pay for it. The ways... The Bible said the gift of God is eternal life, but the wages of sin is death. So therefore, you have to straighten up and fly right. Praise be to God. Now, we're, going to have, we're still going to have a good time here today. And uh, again, those of you who would like to call in, you can call in 323-965-1600. And people say, Harlot, Marin, a Harlot, my God, my God. Ooh, I can't do that. I can't do that. And some people you talk to, yeah, man, bring me all you can find. <laughs> but this is not what God said. He used an illustration here to show people uh, how Israel have sinned it all down through the years. And he said, watch this now. Uh, we're going to go keep going down to verse uh, 11, and the people of Judea and Israel will, will unite it under the leader, and they will return to exile together, and it will be the day of Jezebel when God will again plant his people in this land. And the day you call on your brother Amen, my people, then you will call your sister Ramana, the one that I love. Now, God charged against unfaithful wife, the harlot, and see what he had them uh, them to do is name those names. See, God loved Israel, but Israel was so hard as headed. I mean, the, down through the years, so hard headed, and it's the same thing. God loved us too, but some of us are so hard headed and not kind hearted and not true. And God wants you to be faithful to Him. And if you be faithful to God, he will bless you. Well, some people say, well, I know some people are blessed, and they don't even go to church. Well, guess what? God will reign on the just as he will the unjust. But there's a judgment day surely to come, and you got to answer for all the things that you have done in your life. Praise be to God. And we, we think about these things here. And when I think about uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, 
54 and 5, message about Babylon. God gave the prophet Jeremiah concern Babylon. And we, 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 we think about when God allowed things to happen to get your attention. Sometimes he allows sickness to come upon us to get our attention. And you have, that's when you have to walk by faith and not by sight. And too often today, people are just walking by what they can see. But you know, sometimes your eye, well, a lot of time your eyesight can fool you. Many people out here is walking by sight instead of walking by faith. The Bible, Hebrew 11, 1 tells us faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that's not seen. You don't see it, but you know what it is. Amen. I'm going to pray another quick little song here, and we're just going to keep on having a good time. Praise be to the Lord. I got a blessing waiting for you If you do all the things that he told you to Be honest, faithful, kind-hearted and true God's got a blessing Waiting for you God, God Got a blessing Just waiting for you If you do all the things That he told you to Be honest, honest faith, Faithful Kind hearted Just wait. wait, let me fun. say it again. God got a blessing just waiting for you. If you do all, all the things that he told you to, be honest, faithful, kind-hearted, Just waiting for you God, God Got a got blessing, blessing waiting, waiting for you If you do, do all, all the things That he told you to Be honest, honest Faithful, faithful Kind-hearted Just wait, wait y'all help me, you. tell them, God, God bless you, God, God bless you, my father, God, God got a blessing. I mean, that song is so touching, but then you have to listen at all the words he was saying. You have to be faithful, kind-hearted, and true. God have a blessing for some of you out there right now. Now, when I begin to think about uh, people going through trials and tribulation, I was reading, and uh, I was reading Luke 22, 31, and the Lord said unto Simon, Behold, Satan has a desire to have you uh, shift, sifted as wheat. That was Satan's desire to have Peter sifted as sweet. But we begin to think about... Uh, uh, what Satan's job is. His job is robbing, stealing, killing, and destroying. And that's why the whole world is like it is right now. It's because of him. And the Bible says he's a, he's a big liar. He's a, matter of fact, he's the father of liars. And we have a lot of people out there now, want to, they would rather tell you a lie than tell you the truth. And but see, and, but they're going to heaven anyway. You talk to some people, they say, well, my heaven is down here. No, it's not either. I sure don't want to be here. Now, that's why I'm, I'm striving hard for perfection every day. 
to stay on the Lord's side. As this song just went off, faithful, kind-hearted, and true. And God have a blessing for a lot of you out there listening to me right now. And some of you sick and wondering how can you get well. Well, my God, my God, you have to, instead of gossiping all the time, quit watching those soap operas. Quit talking about Sister Sue, Sister Sally, and Brother John. Quit gossiping. Busy about it. God tell you about busy about it. And when you begin to think about how grateful we are when you wake up in the morning, that's another blessing. Praise be to God. And you think about how good God has been to you down through the years. Some of you listening at me right now was incarcerated and God have taken care of you throughout that time. And some of you right now is going through some sickness. People dying every second, every moment, every second. People getting out of here. And people think the world is going to be here forever. No, you're in for a rule of working. Just take a look around. See the things that's happening in the world. Then you realize that time is not as long as you think it is. But the Bible said no man will know the hour of time when he comes. See, I may come as a thief in the middle of the night. So, wow. And a lot of people do wait till the midnight hour. I remember this song one time this guy was singing, wait till the midnight hour till the love come to me. I think, yeah, I remember that. But see, you don't have to wait until the midnight hour unless you go wait till the midnight hour and get on your knees and start praising and thanking God for how he has blessed you and how he has kept you from harm and danger. And we need to think about that. And when we're going to play another song, One More Blessing, I want you to listen at this song real good and carefully. carefully. One More Blessing. Praise be to God. got up this morning and I saw a new day. I said one more blessing, Lord, that you sent my way. When I looked around and I saw everybody doing okay, I said one more blessing, Lord, that you sent Lord, you bless me over and over and all through the day. I said one more blessing. When I got up this morning and I kneeled down to pray, I said one more blessing, Lord. And then he said, whatever is right, <laughs> he said, I will pay. I said, one more blessing, Lord, you should sit my way. You bless me over and over and all through the day. I said, You bless me with joy and peace, and then you told me you would supply my need. And when things in my life they turn cloudy and gray, oh, you keep on sending. Bless How many of you out there right now really grasp and seize that song? One more blessing 
My God, my God, my God. I feel the presence of the Lord right now in this studio. And I feel the presence of the Lord right now reaching to some of you out there that are listening. One more blessing. He didn't have to wake us this morning, but he did. He didn't have to close us in his right in our right mind, but he did. And we need to be grateful and we need to be thankful for the things that he has done for us. My goodness, my goodness. And when I begin to think about when God allowed things to happen, when I when I think about what happened to Paul, you know, Paul was a, a, a great apostle, a great leader, but see, he was a member of the saint. Uh, he's a counselor. He had a very, very, very important role. He did. And he was prosecuting Christian. Paul, yeah, Apostle Paul, he was prosecuting Christians. And But a lot of times you give people a little power when they're in, 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 uh, in power, they, they really, really do you some damage. But guess what he did? On his way to Damascus Road, when God turned him down, I mean, turned him down, my God, my God, he turned his life around. Why? Because he had another blessing waiting for him. My goodness, my goodness. And I can continue to name several other uh, good men in the Bible that God blessed. And most so when I was thinking about Paul, and uh, Paul, was, he was blind. The Lord blinded him. And then he, he was striking the Adam and telling him, you better move, you better move. And the, and the don't can start talking. Isn't that amazing how God allowed things to get your attention? And then Paul was on his way. He was blind. He was blind. But the God opened his eyes where he could see. A lot of you out there right now is blinded, spiritually blinded. Praise be to God. Open your eyes and see the blessing. Feel the presence. Feel the spirit of God. My God, my God, my God. We're talking about the things that God allowed to happen to you. And I'm sure that some of you right out there today can, can concur with me about some of the things God has done to you to turn your life around. I know, remember, I was counseling a young man. He said, man, a guy pulled a gun on me, pulled a gun to my head and pulled the trigger six times and not a bullet went off. And he said, right then, I knew it was my time to stop. He said, I was gang banging. He said, he saved my life. Now that's a testimony there. That is a testimony right there. Praise be to God. Some of you out there have testimonies too. And you're wondering why these things happening to you. Uh, people don't pay tithe in church like they should. Well, I got this $3,000 check, I'm gonna pay $50, and that's, that's all I'm gonna pay. Well, see, you robbing God. To, you know, God don't want you to rob him. He bless you, bless, bless, bless him. 10% is not much, that's $10 on 100. And people won't even do that. People don't praise God like they used to. I remember when I was a young kid, we used to go, people look at the clock when they go to church. We need to be out here in at least an hour and a half. God does not put no time limit on us. The problem is we in a hurry going nowhere. Everybody's in a hurry going nowhere. You know, I tell people, people's in a hurry trying to get to hell before they time. So what you need to do is just slow down. Start praising and worshiping God. My God, my God. Woo, look what David did. David praised God so until he danced out of his clothes. See, some people, they, they are like they're afraid to praise God. When they go to the church, they won't even say amen. They'll just nod their head. But the Bible tell me, if you're ashamed to own me down here before men, I will be ashamed to own you before my Father which is in heaven. My God, my God, God is love. God is love. And he loved us so much. My goodness, he allowed us a second chance. We have a second chance, God. He allowed us that second chance. Praise be to God. And we, we need to think about this. Some of you are like you're afraid to call. Come on, talk to me now. You can call 323-965-1600. 
Come on. Nobody won't say anything. <laughs> I won't. Praise be to God. You know, uh, everybody said, well, I'm, on, I'm going to call. I'm going to call. But let me say this. This phone is still dead. No lights up. No, it's no nothing. But let me say this right here. Again, if you miss the program, you can catch it on rmcgospel.com and click on repay, replay. That's Pastor George Crowd, Word of Faith International Ministry. And don't forget, every Tuesday, I'm right here from 5 to 6 o'clock. And to be honest with you, I have a good time. But I need some special guests to come on with me. And everybody wants to be the be the limelight. But we know this is this is a spiritual broadcast. It's no show off. I'm very serious about this program. And that's why I don't let everybody come on this program too. But see, but see, God allow, He's a second chance God. He allow you a second chance. I mean, oh my God, how, what more can we ask it for? What more can we ask for? One more blessing. That song really touches me. One more blessing. That was by the Gospel Four out of Memphis, Tennessee. I will be going back visiting them pretty soon. But God is an awesome God. He's a good God. And I just thank him for all the things that he has done for me. Some of you right now wrapped up in pain, body wrapped in pain. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to turn to your right side or turn to your left side. And some of you going through some trials, going through some tribulation. But look, every time you turn around, you know, there's trouble on your right side, trouble on your left side. And it seems like every time you turn around, you, you, you have hills and hills and more hills to climb and valleys and valleys. But see, God still has been good to you. Nobody would say it would be easy. Believe me, being a Christian is not easy. You have to be strong, kind-hearted, and good. God have a blessing for you. Someone out there right now need a blessing from the Lord. Someone listening to me on this program right now need healing. Someone right now listening to me right now need delivering. Now is the time. Don't put off, praise God, don't put off tomorrow for what you can accomplish today. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. Tomorrow is not promised to none. And that is the absolute truth. Praise be to God. Well, I'm going to play another little song, and we're just going to keep on having a good time in the Lord. Praise be to God. Come on, songs. It goes like this. Praise is when I want to be close to you. I will praise you while I can. How best you act all time. I vow, I vow to praise you. When you gonna praise the church? Through the good. Even when I'm going through, even when I'm going 
say, I finally learned, church. I learned to worship you. Yeah. And I declare, no, my circumstance doesn't even subject today we talking about God allow things to happen to get out of uh, teaching to get your attention when I think about when God told Jonah to go down to Nineveh he announced it and then Jonah said yeah okay okay so he got on the ship and he's headed went down at the bottom of the ship and a storm came and the captain went down and said well who is this fellow here we never we've traveled this route many times we never had Nothing like this to happen. And Jonah was down there, and he finally came up and told him, he said, well, it's not you, it's me. So they threw Jonah off the ship, threw Jonah off the ship. And then the Bible said a great fish swallowed him up, and then came to dry land and threw him up. But see, he still was hard-headed. He still didn't want to go down to Nineveh. See, God allowed things to happen to get our attention. Jonah was sitting up there. He was still didn't want to go down to Nineveh. When God tells you to do something, you better not question him. You better just jump up quick, fast, and hurry. Just that quick. Because, see, it's a reason why, again, he allowed things to happen for a reason. Then Jonah laid there, and he's, he was under this tree for shade. Could you imagine a bald head man laying under the tree for shade and God allow it to burn up, just withered away? And so eventually he made up his mind that he was going to be obedient. He was going to be obedient. And so the thing about it, a lot of you right now it has been called into the ministry and won't even go. We need ministries. We need evangelists all over through this world. This world worse than it has ever been. And every year it's getting worse and worse. People of God, we need you to just focus and stretch out your hand and touch somebody so we can make this world a better place. Quit killing each other. Quit lying on each other. Quit stealing. Quit robbing. Quit killing. Quit backsliding. Give God your own. Praise be to God. And I think about some of the things that we have to go through as ministers and pastors and evangelists, then people still won't do right. I just continue to pray for them, ask God to turn their life around. He's turning it around. And so we need to understand one thing here. There's no power greater than the power of God. Satan has no power unless you give it to him. You give it to him, yes, he'll beat you down, put knots all up side of your head, cause you to rob, kill, steal, and destroy. That's that old spirit that he has. And so what we need to do, we need to bind him. We need to bind him. You have, you know, if you say, if you have the power to bind him, you sure do. And what we need to understand, one thing, praise that God allow things to happen to you for a reason. Some people say, well, I lost my job. Well, then what were you doing on your job? Something you're not supposed to be doing. Supposed to be doing. My engineer says something you're not supposed to be doing. And I thank God for this engineer here, Leron. He's a Christian young man, and we just have such a good time 
when I come into the studio. I don't go on the air until 5 o'clock, and I get here two hours sometime before time, just be in God's presence. It's, it's good to meditate and be in God's presence. You, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. So look, I just want some of you to call in right now. I'm still waiting for a caller. Uh, 323-965-1600. They just fixed the keyboards today. The phone line. And won't nobody call in. Praise God. Are you afraid? The Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Come on, everybody. Call in. We need, we need, we need somebody. We need somebody to speak out. There's a lot, a lot of bias going on out there because of the creed and color. So God, God is no respect of a person. He's not going to ask you what ethnic group you're from. He's not going to ask you what, how much money you have. None but the righteous shall see God. My God, my God, people going to come on that judgment. When God come on that judgment day, you're going to run up to him. Lord, I did this in your name. I did this in your name. He's going to look at you. He's going to say, depart from me. I know you're not because of your iniquity. Your heart is waxed cold. He want a church without a spot or wrinkle. And the problem is we don't have enough church. People say, well, you go to church and you go to church all the time. People tell me, maybe every time I turn around, you're in church and I'm going to stay there too. I feel safe in the church. I feel safe in, in the arms of my Lord. Praise be to God. God has been good to me. He has been good to me. Now, I've traveled many places when I was in service and he was good to me then. But see, I, I'm like some of you. I have one foot, <laughs> one foot in in the club, one foot this way. But see, everybody makes a change. There's a pole wind that blows and never change. Think about that. If a wind just blew in one direction and never changed, my goodness, you'd be saying, "What's happening? What's happening? What's happening?" So what you need to do? Call somebody. Tell a friend. Tonight, if you're listening at me, that God love you. Call a friend. Tell someone that God getting ready to make some changes in your life. And they're going through some changes. That's a, it's a reason why that you're going through those changes. Tell them that. It's a reason why you're going through those changes. Why? God getting ready to turn you around. He wants you to clean up what you messed up, starting your life all over again. My God, my God, and go walking through those doors. You're not going to lie no more. You're not going to cheat no more. You're not going to uh, backstab no more. You're not going to commit adultery no more. You're not going to fornicate no more. Turn your life around. Now is the time. The time is right now. Praise be to God. I'm so grateful that God has been so good to me. And, I'm, and I want you to know that I, I, I'm trying my best every day for perfection to stay on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. Praise be to God. We're going to play another quick little song here, and we're just going to keep on moving. Your love has lifted me higher than I've ever been lifted before. Lord, keep it up. That's my desire. And I'll be at your side forevermore.
God love keep lifting us up higher and higher and higher. But you know, when I read the story of Job, when Satan uh, asked God to say, "Have you considered?" Uh, God asked Satan, "Have you considered my favorite, favorite, favorite son, Job?" He said, "Do anything, but don't take his life." And Job said, "Uh huh." Uh-huh. See, let me tell you how the devil works. Very tricky. Say, I know what I can do. I'm going to make him lose everything that he had, that he had. I'm going to make him lose everything. He did that. Job still did not turn from God. And everything that he had, everything was gone. But guess what? God, see, even Job's friend talked about him. Something you must have seen. You must have seen See, God was showing the people as well as Satan, if you're faithful, kind-hearted, and true, you won't turn from God. Job knew, he, but he did curse the day he died. I mean, he went through something. He went through something. But see, God restored Job and gave him twice as much as he ever had. And see, that's, that's faithfulness. Regardless of the situation you're going through, I listen to that people have little, 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 little minor things, and you would think, my goodness, trying to make a mountain out of mohill. My goodness gracious of me. But faith, you know, they don't have enough faith for anything. We begin to think about Peter. I think about the power of prayer over in the book of James. Tell you, James uh, 5 13, the power of prayer. So anyone will make you suffer, and then you should keep on praying about it. And those who have reason to be thankful should continue to sing and praise to the Lord. My goodness, my goodness. What more instruction do you need other than the Word of God? If you read God's Word, the Bible says, Oh, taste over in the Psalm. Oh, taste and see how sweet. The word of God, it is sweet as a honeycomb. And that is sweet. Read God's word. I love to read God's word. I read, read constantly. I mean, I love to read. The more you read, more knowledge and understanding that you get. A lot of people just browse through chapters. Then you ask them, man, what did you read? Well, I, I don't know. I forgot. That means you wouldn't letting it sink in. You have to let it sink in your brains, your knowledge, and your spirit. I've known some people couldn't read. And I told them to just ask God to just open up your mind. And I know a God now, I can't call, I won't call this name, a great pastor. I remember one time he, he couldn't read hardly at all. He's a dynamic pastor now. God bless him, opened up his mind, heart, and spirit, and went on and got, got his degree. He's a dynamic preacher, teacher. So God can take a a nobody and make something out of them. All you have to do is walk by faith and not by sight. Too often, people of God, you are here walking by sight instead of walking by faith. My goodness, my goodness. Start walking by faith. Then you can accomplish something. Start living right. I love that song, God Got a Blessing waiting for you and he sure does he has a blessing waiting for you but see the thing about you have to do all the things that he told you to do you have to be faithful kind-hearted and true that's what he wants you to do he wants you to love the problem with the world today there's not enough love it's more hatred than it is love we need more love songs used to be what love have to do with it love have a lot to do with it Look what God, look what God did. He gave his only begotten son, whosoever believe in him shall perish, but not, but have, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God gave his only son. My goodness, my goodness. What else can we ask for? How many of you out there right now, if someone tell you, well, let me have your son for a sacrificial offering. You don't have a one. Oh, you would raise so much sin. Ooh, you wouldn't believe. But see, the reason why the world is like it is today, we don't have enough love, love, love. We need to love one another. Why? Because there's so much jealousy out here. Somebody can buy a new car. You get angry about that. 
Because God blessed him with a new car. Somebody can get a new home and get it all furnished up. God bless him with that. It is not meant for everybody to have a mention down here. It's not meant for everybody to have. None but the righteous shall see God. God will reign on the unjust as he will the just. But don't put your things before God. Always put God first, foremost, and off. Make sure you always put God first in your life. And those of you who are struggling with things right now, pray. Prayer change things. Believe me. Prayer change things. I'm a living testimony. Prayer will change things. And what we need to do, we need to love. We need to have more love. That song, your love keep lifting me higher and higher than I ever been lifted before. And that is absolutely true. Sometimes when you're downhearted, disappointment sometimes seems like was your closest friend. But all you have to do is call upon the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let's call upon the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. And one thing I'm going to say to you before I, I leave the air here. I pray for the whole world daily. I just, I'm not a selfish person. I pray for the whole world daily. People that I, I remember and people that I don't remember. And I just say, Lord, bless the whole world. Then you cover everything. Praise be to God. Because the enemy is on the loose. You haven't seen nothing yet. You just wait. People of God, you better get ready. You better get ready. Pray more. Praise be to God. My time is almost up. Let me play another song right quick here before my time get up. I'm having a good time. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Ezekiel is saying he's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. You know, he, you know, I love the Lord, and a lot of the writers in the Bible here was telling you uh, about how good God. And Psalms are old taste and sweet. See, so, so, so God's word is just like a honeycomb, and you know honey is sweet. Sweet, good and sweet. Now, that's sweet, that's sweet. And we think about... Uh, a lot of the writers in the Bible, how they love God and how God blessed them and how God delivered them. Praise be to God. And we, we think about uh, tangible things. God's love will go all the way, all the way, all the way. It did go all the way. It did go all the way. What we need now 
is a, a little more love, just a little more love. Try to love that person you've been hating for five or six years or 20 or 30 years. I see family people can't get along because of jealousy. The enemy came in and stole their joy, and they, can't, they won't even call each other. But they go to church every Sunday with their beautiful clothes on, but they can't, they're biological sisters and brothers. They don't have anything to do with them. My God, the Bible said, how can you say that you love God whom you never seen and your sister and your brother, you see daily, you hate them. The Bible said you're lying. The truth is not in you. So you need to think about that. Think about that. And one thing I, I want to leave with you tonight, God is an awesome God. God is a good God. He can do anything but fail. And remember that. Whatever the problem that you're going through, whatever your circumstances, whatever your situation, just remember, God can take a nobody and make somebody out of them. And whatever you're going, regardless of whatever the doctors say, your situation. I see a lot of people have been having a lot of medical problems here lately. And the thing about it, whatever it is, turn it over to the Lord and he'll work it out. He'll fix whatever you need, fix it. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful, so thankful. Hallelujah. You just don't know. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me now to be able to just tell you something, and I hope you're listening at this program and letting it sink in, letting it comprehend. Praise be to God. There's no love greater than the love of Jesus. And I, 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 I get up in the midnight, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I'll be driving. I just pull over somewhere quietly and just thank God how he kept me and blessed me and thank him and just pray for people that I see is falling by the wayside. Praise be to God. You have to pray for your sister or your brother that has fallen by the wayside. Again, you can catch me right here on this station here every Tuesday from 5 to 6 o'clock. Or either you can go online and pick me up if you miss me now. You, you can click on remcgospel.com and you hit replay on YouTube. Make sure it's YouTube now. And then you can pick this same program up right now and share it with someone else. Call a friend. Call a friend. Call a relative. Call somebody and say, let's listen to this man of God and be blessed. Amen. God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to be blessed. Many, many people just listen at this. I've gotten response from people over in London, the Netherlands, so I'm going to have to renew my passport. I'm ashamed to say that. <laughs> I'm going to have to renew my passport and jump aboard because, you know, God don't give me a spirit of fear, but love, peace, and a sound mind. You know, God, God will take care of you wherever you go. And people don't realize it's just as dangerous riding up and down the highway as it is flying up in the air. You know, you're not going to leave here until your time comes. When something happened, that means your time was up. Praise be to God. I have uh, about three more minutes. I'm going to play another quick song, and then we're going to close this out. Glory be to God. And it has been my pleasure of being with you out in the radio TV land. May God bless you and forever keep you. Hallelujah. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. <laughs> But at the end it shall speak and not lie. I guess what we're trying to say tonight that if the Lord said it, you can count on it and he'll do just what he said. Come on, El Jim like Mass by heaven and like say, like the vision. Make it plain. Make it plain. That they may not. Though the fish, though the fish is only for a while, is only for a while, it shall speak, it shall speak, and not lie, and not lie. For if the Lord said, the Lord said, <laughs> you can count on. 
and he'll do just what he said. Any witnesses tonight? Say it again, right? And make it plain that they may run and not faint. Though the fish, hallelujah, is only for a while, but at the end it shall speak. Let them know that if the Lord said, <laughs> you can count on it tonight, and He'll do just what He said. Oh yes! Now to confirm that, come on, somebody, just say it is so. Yes, it is. What he said. I know he will do. I believe I got my witness in the Alto says he called Alto say yes. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody out in the radio land. God is good, he's grateful, he's merciful. Remember, love, love is the key. If you want to see God, love is the key. Again, again, you can catch me on this station right here. Every Tuesday from 5 to 6. That's Pastor George Kraut, Word of Faith International Ministry. Or you can write me P.O. Box 55086, Long Beach, California, 90805. Send me a card. Let me know. Let me hear from you. Respond. Let me hear from you. Praise be to God. My time is just about up. And I want to thank all of you listeners as a listener. And I know I'll be getting a lot of texts when I leave here. Some people are afraid to talk on the air, but you know, you shouldn't be. As a matter of fact, if you call me, I'll let you be guests on here with me. I'll share. I'm a sharing person. I'm a loving person. I'm a caring person. Praise be to God. Remember, don't forget to pray. Don't forget to pray. If you, if you never prayed before, now is the time for you to start praying. Pray, and most of all, love, love, love. That's the key for everything. Love, love, love everybody. Love your friends. Love your enemy, too. Praise be to God. Until next time, I will see you next Tuesday at this same time. And may God bless you. <laughs> Praise Him, let's have a good time. 
Hey! 